Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement. Today I have a super special guest right here and I'm gonna make you retire your 5 inch because just look at this boom this thing is the size of a 5 inch prop and it flies faster for longer <laughs> time it's like 5 times less the weight really <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited about it and I think at this point you probably know what this is this is the Dyson Mini basically this replaces your Cine Whoop and it replaces for better because you can go around and really have a safe drone that doesn't weigh anything fly around people, fly around stuff and it's safe but what this doesn't do is freestyle you can do flips, you can do stuff, I mean it takes 4S, it flies really good but I didn't have that freedom you know to do building dives and stuff, I wanted something with no compromises I wanted this into this and so this thing was born and I took the time to improve it a little, a little more so now we have a swiveling mount yeah because here there is the space here I wanted to keep it really slammed down so the center of gravity is really low and it flies good but actually if you like the swiveling mount you can take this and put it into here so it's the best of all and I kept the GoPro style mount here so if you have a full size GoPro this thing probably can take it and also you can have a universal mount for any whoop style drone is not limited to this one so get creative with it and as well as the top mount is GoPro compatible so you can put on whatever drone you like if you have the GoPro accessory and that's another point also this time I cut a slit for the SD card because everybody kept asking about that and drones are falling and also I made the mount thicker so if you crash I mean it should be more protected than the other one it's a little bit heavier but this thing can take it and still it oh wow there is a hook and this thing is 150 grams around that with a 4s battery and uh, the 17 grams gopro so this is using a metal bolt to to keep the gopro in place and you can change that with an m5 nylon screw and it will be a bit lighter probably 10 grams lighter this thing is heavy and this drone is built on a BDFPV HX 115 frame, it's carbon, with a 20 ampere all-in-one FC board and uh, stock the HX 115 comes with a 12 amps but I really recommend this one because uh, we are using 4S with 3 inches so stay safe and get the bigger one and actually right now I'm using the old Dyson Mini motors but I will swap them with something bigger very soon and I have a 1404 motor right here because BetaFP was really kind and they sent me all of this stuff but sadly it doesn't fit so I can't use this on this frame but I heard really good things about the 1204 motors so I will put them here because this flies really good but I, th I feel like the motors could be a little bit stronger and as I was telling you this is no compromises because it has the same specs that this has but a lot lot lighter and actually I'm gonna fly both of them and let you see the difference everything will be stabilized with Resteady
And now I had a, a chance to try them side by side. And the feeling is really different actually, because I've not watched the video yet. But this feels heavy. Of course it feels heavy. Like you point in a direction and it takes a lot of time to turn back and push the other way, even when you're recovering from a dive and stuff like that. This one stops right where it's at. Like you're doing this, you turn, you push, it stops. You go down, you turn, you push, it stops there. This one takes maybe two or three meters to, to stop. It has a lot more weight, of course. And I actually don't dislike the feeling on this one because uh, I, I'm used to it. Like when I'm doing a power loop and stuff, with this one I tend to undershoot the power loop. Like I have to do like, this is the obstacle, I go up and then I turn and I wait the drone to fall back. But it doesn't because it stops there, it has no inertia. So probably what I need to do is push further and then turn because this thing goes where you want. So I need to change my way of flying basically. And this is like my fourth flight with this because uh, I am in quarantine and flying in the backyard gets boring really quick. So I really have to wait till this ends and go shoot somewhere really cool so I can uh, put it to the test. Anyway, thanks for watching. Today was uh, really a presentation. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to build it, how to 3D print the mount, so it's easier for people to do so. Till next time, stay safe and happy flying. And by the way, hey, and by the way, <laughs> join the group and you will find all the files in Thingiverse. I created a new, a new project called Dyson X, so there is no confusion between the Dyson Mini and the Dyson X. And actually the Dyson X mount is compatible with the Dyson Mini one. So even better. <laughs>